almost all the conservatives and you know maybe two-thirds of the libertarians in this category they vote Republican most of the time okay almost all progressives most populists vote Democrat most of the time centrists back go back and forth don't get too carried away with the exact numbers but this is essentially conceptually correct why does a small number of conservatives vote Democrat why does a small number of hard left people vote Republican um, th this is not a perfect sign there are people who vote on all sorts of different reasons but there's always a little sliver that doesn't follow your what you would think so this is the pre 2016 way to think about the two partisan coalitions all right now let's see what happens in the post 2006 you notice the elephant has sprouted some hair and here's what you see remember this is the pre coalition this is the post coalition some populists come up and vote for Trump and maybe other Republicans though we're not actually clear about that and some of the more libertarian type voters don't they go down the other way the actual vote shares if you include third party and you sort of think about who the third party are, they, they change a little bit but not dramatically but the, the, the who voted for whom does clearly change somewhat in this story now if this doesn't bowl you over that the world has suddenly spun around on its axis or something fundamentally different has happened in America that's the point I'm trying to discount what other people are panicky or very excited about that the world is completely different I don't think it is completely different the elections are important they determine who has power they determine who's going to make policy over the next several years but they didn't completely scramble the deck that's just unlikely that's not how human beings are